What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back again with another video and as y'all can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all a little bit about Bunker Alpha and just explaining the location. So if you're a beginner or you're thinking about doing this for the first time ever, then hopefully this video will help you out. Or if you've done it a few times, maybe there's a few tips or tricks you can learn throughout this video that'll help you out. Bunker Bravo is typically a very hard location, so hopefully this video will make it a bit easier. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like as well as subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Anyway, with all of that said, let's get right into the video. First thing to note is whenever you go into Bunker Alpha for the very first time and you open the big door, there's going to be a horde that comes out at you. This isn't a really hard horde, but I wouldn't recommend using melees. Maybe have a gun set aside to be able to take out this horde. And then when you go in there, you're going to need to bring a generator to be able to open up the floor. This isn't like Bunker Alpha where you have to put in a password to be able to unlock it every two days. Uh, once you put in the generator, it's open forever and you don't got to worry about it. As soon as you enter, you're going to notice you have like your main lobby floor, and it's a bit different from Bunker Alpha. You're going to notice six little substations that you can put a bunch of resources in to repair, and once you do that, you will get to be able to select two out of six perks. Quick note, the best time to do this is 100% during the season event. The season event, what it does is it will cut down the radiation in half, it will cut the zombies health in half, and it would also make it where either the AK or the M16, it alternates every other season but it'll make it where the either yeah, AK or M16 does double damage. So the best time to do this is 100% during the season event because you also get season points as well as the buffs. When this isn't during the season event, this is a very, very hard location. There are players who've been playing this game for six years plus and still died at this location a lot of times. So I cannot stress enough how important it is to, if you're going to do this, make sure you're doing it during the season event. Now to get to the bunker itself, the bunker is very simple. You enter floor 2, you're going to have to enter floor 2 because you can't get to floor 3 until you complete floor 2, and you can't get to floor 4 until you complete floor 3, so you got to go in order. Anyway, start of floor 2, you're going to see a little terminal. You'll be able to, ha to select two perks that you have built up. Some of them are like turning off turrets, or getting rid of water, or clearing out the vents. They're actually very helpful, so make sure that before you even think about doing this, you have at least two ready to choose from. An important thing to know is this is a speedrun location. The longer you in there, the more the longer radiation will affect you, and it will cut down your max health. It will start off with you being fine if you use like something like an anti-rad or an anti-rad pills. That's a way to help it, or CBRN or hazmat armor is a way to help combat it. But as you get further into the floor, you're going to notice radiation starts taking away at your max health. Um, something about anti-rad pills is you can use the pill and it will give you back some of your max health, but still the radiation will, every few seconds, cut it down shorter and shorter and shorter. You can get these uh, anti-rad pills and anti-rads from either doing Bunker Bravo or also throughout the season pass is a good way to get them. And then Seaburn Armor and Hazmat Armor are pretty hard to get. Again, I'm pretty sure you can get them through the season pass or also the laboratory. No, those are some ways to combat it. Anyway, it's pretty simple. You go throughout the floor, and then once you get there, you're going to see a boss at the end of each floor. Starting off with the floor 2 boss is the Liquidator. This is probably the easiest out of the three. Uh, once you go in there in the boss room, you're going to notice there's three zombies in there. And once you take out two of the three, then the Liquidator boss will come out of the wall. What you're going to notice is on the left side, there are cages with three chickens in them. You'll let out the three chickens and then just start firing at the Liquidator. Uh, he'll start attacking you, there's no real strategy, but every now and again he'll go and eat a chicken. So it'll give you time to organize your inventory, get yourself settled, and start fire at him. And whenever you f kill the liquidator, it will finish the floor, the radiation will stop, and what you can do is at the end, you'll send up a box to the lobby, which is where you will claim your rewards. Uh, and then the floor 3 boss is the butcher, you're gonna go in there, it's gonna have, I think, a thousand health, and then when you take it down to 800, it'll release, it'll open a door releasing three right shield zombies. When you take it down to 600, it'll open a door releasing, I think, an exploder. And then 400, it will open a door releasing, I believe, a toxic spewer. And then 200 will open a door releasing a slasher. Um, and then another thing that's important about this boss is, as well as that, is every now and again, once you get close to him, he will scream. And when he screams, it stuns you for a decent amount of time. So when he screams, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure you're behind a pillar. If you're behind a pillar, away from the stream, then the stream will not stun you. So what you gotta do is you gotta shoot at the zombies that are coming after you, as well as the liquidator. And when it screams, hide behind it. It's, in theory, a simple boss, but still very, very hard with everything going at you. And then floor four boss, the cocoon, you go in there, the first thing you do, you gotta have like an M16 or an AK or a weapon that fires very fast and does not miss much. What you gotta do is you gotta go in, you turn off one, there's three vents, you turn off one of the three vents, and then you start, you just hit auto and it'll start shooting the cocoon. The cocoon's gonna shoot out parasites, but if you have a weapon good enough, it'll shoot at the parasites as well as the cocoon. Later throughout the boss fight, this same boss fight, you'll notice it starts to get a little bit colder. 
if that happens, what you do is you go and you close a second vent, and then you keep doing it, and then by then you should have been able to kill him and get to the end of the floor and reset and send your loot up to the top. Another quick note, um, these floors, if you die once, you can go back and get your stuff and try it again a second time. Again, it's a speed run, but if you die more than one time, it's best to just reset the floor. So say you're on floor two, you go halfway, you die, you come back, you can get your stuff back and you can continue going. It'll be a little bit harder, but it's still doable. But if you were to die again after that, it's best to just grab your stuff, cut your losses and reset the floor because after that, it's nearly impossible. Bunker Bravo is a very, very essential location for getting your ATV. So if that is something you're wanting to do, which odds are if you're playing the game, that's something you want to do, you will need to do this location a good couple of times because this has, I think this is the only place apart from the season pass, you can get gas cylinders and then you can also get batteries, engine parts, other stuff that you'll need for the ATV. The ATV is this location's main purpose, so, and again, it's best to do this during the season event because while, you, yes, you can get the ATV rewards, you're also getting season points, so that'll help it out a bit. Overall, in difficulty, I give this location a 7 out of 10 with the season pass and a 10 out of 10 without the season pass. I was doing this when it wasn't during the event, the event and I died a few times. It was very hard and it is not an easy location. So keep that in mind. If you die your first few times, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It'll take a little bit of getting into, but you'll get there eventually. And that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a face reveal at 1,000 subscribers, so if that's something you want to see, make sure to subscribe. Again, it's free and you can always change your mind later. I really do hope this video helped you all out. Bunker Bravo is a very essential location, so it's important to know how to do it correctly and efficiently. But anyway, with all that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of y'all's day. I'm out. Peace.